Welcome you now to your GCSE options. Ms Charlton and myself, Ms Ertak, are your food technology teachers. We deliver between us the Level 1 and 2 award in hospitality and catering. Why choose food technology? Firstly, Ms Charlton and myself, Ms Ertak, will be your food technology teachers. We are very enthusiastic about the subject and love um, passing on our skills and knowledge to our students. You may have a passion for cooking. You may be interested in things like MasterChef, Great British Bake Off. You may see yourself being the winner of Great British Bake Off or Junior MasterChef. You are creative. You have a chance to develop those creative skills. You have a chance to develop your practical skills. If you want to learn how to cook, how to cook safely, be able to produce dishes for your family and friends. It may be that you've already chosen that you want to go into the catering and hospitality industry as a career. And this is a good start for that industry. Throughout the course, you will learn about a variety of different topics. We start off generally as an introduction into hospitality and catering and the different types of establishments. We then look at how they remain successful and what will impact on their business success. We learn about organisations and how it's important that we meet health and safety and we train our staff. We also look at how um, different catering establishments operate what they provide on their menu, what dictates how they're going to set their business up and what area they need to be in. We look at staff and staffing structures within different organisations and what their roles and responsibilities are from preparation to training to taking overall responsibility for the organisation etc. We look at how different organisations can support the hospitality and catering industry. So we look at environmental health and how they can help support training. They're not only there to monitor standards, they are there to offer advice and guidance. You will learn about how catering environments meet specific requirements. So we'll look at allergies and intolerances. We'll look at different diets. So diets might be through personal choice, it might be religion, it might be through um, health implications. We then look at nutrition and how nutrition impacts on our own health and well-being. We look at how cooking techniques support keeping the nutrients in the food. So we look at a variety of techniques, a variety of skills. Overall, we're looking at you learning about the importance of managing those techniques and also working safely and hygienically throughout. We will look at different presentation techniques in your food and how those techniques enhance a product so as a provider it can support in the sale of your products. We throughout the course will keep looking at different topics because all the topics nicely merge together. We need to understand the basics to be able to develop as an individual and as an organisation. Thank you very much for listening to me. We're going to go through now how we're actually assessed. So in year 10, we concentrate on unit one, which is the hospitality and catering industry. At the end of this unit, you will have a 90 minute written exam, normally in June, and this is 40% of your grade. For the external exam, you will need to gain knowledge of all parts of the industry and be able to propose new hospitality and catering provisions for a particular location. You should be able to identify different types of establishments and job roles to determine the best option. You will use your knowledge gained over the course to determine how the proposed hospitality and catering provision will operate efficiently, legally and financially and viably whilst meeting the needs of their potential customers. 
Unit two is concentrated on in year 11, and this is hospitality and catering in action. This is an internal assessment, and it's a controlled assessment task of nine hours with 60% of your grade. The unit is based around a given brief in which you will need to complete all the assessment criteria. This will form your coursework along with a practical assessment. You will use your knowledge gained over the course to carry out preparation, cooking and present nutritional dishes. You will apply knowledge gained of different types of provisions and kitchen and front of house operations in Unit 1, as well as personal safety in their preparation. Your two grades will be then joined together and you will get either a level one award or level two award in hospitality and catering and you can get um, pass merit and distinction thank you very much for listening to me we look forward to you choosing food technology as one of your gcse choices